Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So in this video, we are going to learn how to automatically generate news tweets using Google Sheets and Google Gemini. So I handle an Axe account on which I am going to post new educational news related tweets. So here in this case, I want whenever a new news is added in my Google Sheets, automatically using that details, a tweet should be generated using Google Gemini. And after generating a tweet, automatically that tweet should be posted on my X account. So here to build this connection, I need to connect these applications using an automation software named as Pabli Connect. So here to learn this process step by step, let me take you to my screen. Welcome to my screen. So in this video, we are going to learn how to automatically generate news tweets using Google Sheets and Google Gemini. So as I've already mentioned in my introduction that I handle an X account and I want to automate my social media presence by using Google Gemini to create tweets. So here in this case I want whenever I add a new educational news details in my Google Sheets automatically using a prompt a content for that tweet should be generated using Google Gemini and after generating a tweet automatically that tweet should be shared on my X account. So here to build this connection I need to connect my Google Sheets with my Google Gemini account and my X account and here by building this integration it will allow me to automatically post educational news and updates on my Twitter account. So by automating tweet creation I can save time ensure timely dissemination of important educational news and maintain consistent engagement with my audience. So here to build this integration I am going to use an automation software named as Pabli Connect. So Pabli Connect is an amazing automation and integration software and it connects all your favorite apps and makes them work together seamlessly. You can set it up to do things automatically like updating customer info across platforms or sending notifications when something important happens. It's really easy to use and saves you tons of time that you can spend on more important stuff. Plus it keeps everything organized and error free so you can focus on growing your business hustle free. So this is the homepage of Pabli Connect and you can visit this page by simply browsing for the URL pabli.com slash connect. Here you can see two options that are sign in and sign up free. If you're a new user, click on sign up free and get 300 tasks every month to explore the software. And if you're an existing user, click on sign in. Here I'm an existing user, so I'm clicking on sign in. Now after signing in here you can see all Pabli apps window where you can see all the applications of Pabli. Here to connect my applications I'm going to use Pabli Connect. So this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect and here to build my connection I need to create a workflow first. So for that I'm going to click on this create workflow button given on the top right corner. Now here in this create workflow dialog box I have to give a name to my workflow. So here I'm going to give the name as generate news tweets using Google Sheets and Google Gemini and I'm going to select my folder as automations. You can select your folder as per your need also you can create multiple folders to save your workflows accordingly. And now here to learn how to create a new folder in Public Connect you have to click on this learn more link given over here and by clicking on this it will take you to our forum window where you can see all the instructions to how to create a new folder in Public Connect. So moving back to my Pabli's dashboard and here to create a new workflow I'm going to click on this create button given over here. Now here in this workflow window you can see I have successfully created a workflow with the name automatically generate news tweets using Google Sheets and Google Gemini. And here you can see two most important principles of an automation process that are trigger and action. Where trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means action is a response towards a trigger. Your automation can have a single trigger but multiple action steps. Now let's begin with our automation by simply setting up a trigger. So here I'm going to select my trigger application as Google Sheets. So here I'm using Google Sheets over any other data storing platform because it's easy to access from anywhere and great for working together. It's free, works well with other Google apps and has lots of helpful features. Plus it's super simple to use. So here in my Google Sheets trigger, I'm going to select my trigger event as new or updated spreadsheet row. So that whenever a new row is added in my Google Sheets, automatically Public Connect should capture the response. And now here you can see we have received a webbook URL. That means we are going to use this webbook URL to connect our Google Sheets with Public Connect. 
so here following the instructions given below here i have already logged in in my google sheets account and here you can see the spreadsheet which i have created with the name tweets and here you can see the fields which i have taken such as title content hashtags and link url so here before connecting my google sheets with pabli connect here i'm going to add a new educational news so for that i'm going to enter the title as cat 2024 registration date this is what we know so far and here i'm going to enter this news content so this is the content and here i'm going to add hashtags as 3 and here for the link url i'm going to enter the link of that news and now here after entering all these details i'm going to build a connection between my google sheets and pabli connect so here to build this connection i'm going to click on this ex extensions option given over here and from here i'm going to select addons and under addons i'm going to select get addons Now here in this Google Workspace Marketplace I'm going to search for my add-on that is Pabli Connect Webhooks and then you have to install this add-ons in your Google Sheets. So as you can see it is already installed in my Google Sheets so moving back and now after installing this add-on you have to click on this extensions again and here you will receive a option for Pabli Connect Webhooks over here. From here you have to click on this initial setup And here you can see it is asking for webhook URL and trigger column. So here to get this webhook URL, let me take you back to Pabli's window. And here I'm going to copy this webhook URL. Moving back to Google Sheets, and here I'm going to enter this webhook URL. Now here after entering a webhook URL, here it is asking for trigger column. So here in the instruction it says the trigger column will be a final data column on which if the data is added, the whole of that row data will be sent to webhook URL. So here in my Google Sheet you can see my last data column is column D. So here I'm going to enter the trigger column as column D. And now here after entering all these details, here I'm going to click on the submit. And here you can see setup configured successfully. So now I'm going to send a test data to Pabli Connect. So for that I'm going to click on this send test given over here. And here you can see it says test data sent successfully. So now here after setting up the webhook URL, you have to follow another very important step. And to perform that step, you have to click on this extensions given over here. And from here you have to click on this Pabli Connect webhooks again. And from here you have to turn on this send on event. So by turning this on it will automatically send new data to Pabli Connect whenever a new row is added in this Google Sheet. So now moving back to Pabli's window and here you can see we have successfully received a response here where we have received the title, spreadsheet name, ID, link URL, hashtags and content. So with this we have successfully set up our trigger. Now let's move to action step and here I'm going to select my action application as Google Generative AI. So Google Generative AI or Google Gemini is a project by Google that aims to enhance online interactions by combining advanced artificial intelligence with human like conversational abilities. It uses AI to understand and generate natural language making it easier for people to communicate with technology in a way that feels more natural. People use Google Gemini to improve their digital experiences from customer service to personal assistance. as it helps in providing quick accurate and human like responses to queries and tasks so here in my google generative action step i am going to select my action event as generate content so that whenever a new row is added in my google sheets automatically using that detail a new tweet should be generated using google generative ai and now to connect my google generative ai with pabli connect here i am going to click on this connect Here to build a new connection I'm going to select add new connection if your Google Generative AI account is already connected with Pabli Connect then you can click on select existing connection and now here to build a new connection it is asking for a API key so here in the instruction it says enter the API key here to obtain the API key log in to the Google AI studio and go to the get API key section so here I'm going to click on this Google AI studio link given over here And here you can see it has successfully taken to my Google AI Studio because here I was already logged in my Google account. So now here after coming to this window, here you can see we have received the option for Get API Key. So here I'm going to click on this, and from here I'm going to click on this Create API Key. Here I'm going to select my cloud project that is Pabli Testing, and then I'm going to generate a API key. Here I'm going to copy it. Moving back to Pabli's window, and here I'm going to paste this API key. Now here after successfully adding this API key here I'm going to click on the save 
and here you can see we are now successfully connected so moving forward and now here it is asking me for a text so basically here in the text field i need to enter the prompt which i want to send to google generative ai to generate a tweet for me so here i'm going to enter a prompt so this is the prompt which says write a 20 to 30 words informative tweet for this title using this content use maximum number of hashtags and don't write in first person so here you can see in the place of this title content and number of hashtags i have used variables so here in this place of variables i'm going to enter these details and here instead of manually entering these details here i'm going to map the data mapping data means insert data from previous step that means here i'm going to map the data from the response i have received in my trigger step Mapping makes the text dynamic so that whenever a new news is added in my Google Sheets, automatically this previously existing detail will be updated with the new one. So here in the place of title, I'm going to map the title from the response I've received in my Google Sheets. So this is the title. And here in the place of content, I'm going to map the content. So this is the content. And here in the place of this number of hashtags, I'm going to enter the hashtag number which I've received in my Google Sheets. This is the hashtags. So now here after successfully entering this prompt, I'm going to select my model as Gemini Pro. Moving forward. And here for the methods, I'm going to select generate content. And now here after successfully adding all these details, here I'm going to click on the save and send test request. And here you can see we have successfully received a response where we have successfully received a new generated tweet with using the content which we provided and also we have received some other details. So with this we have successfully set up this action step. Now let's add another action step by clicking on this add action step button given over here. And now here in this step I am going to select my action application as Twitter. So X, formerly known as Twitter, is a popular social media platform where users can post short messages called tweets, share images and videos and follow other users to stay updated on their post. People use X to stay informed about current events, engage in discussions, connect with others who share similar interests and promote their businesses or personal brands. The platform is known for its real-time updates and the ability to quickly spread information to a wide audience. So here in my action step, I'm going to select my action event as create a tweet. So that after generating a tweet using Google Generative AI, automatically that tweet should be posted on my X account. And now to connect my X account with Public Connect, here I'm going to click on this connect. Again here to build a new connection, I'm going to select add new connection. If your X account is already connected with Public Connect, then you can click on select existing connection. And now here to build a new connection, I'm going to click on this connect with X. And now here to build a new connection, it is asking for client ID and client secret. So here in the instruction it says, please read the documentation here to know how to create a client ID or client secret. And here we have received the hyperlink. So here I'm going to click on this. And by doing this, it will take you to our forum window where you can see all the instructions to how to get this client ID and client secret. So here we are going to follow all these steps given over here to get the client ID and client secret. So here you can see we have received a link for developer Twitter here. So I'm going to click on this. And here you need to create your developer account. If you have already created, then it will automatically sign in for you. And if you haven't created a developer account, then you have to create the developer account first. And after that, you have to follow all the steps given over here. So here I'm going to perform all these steps and show you how you will get the client ID or client secret. So for that, moving back to my developer account. So this is my developer account. And from here, I'm going to click on this developer portal given over here. And after that, I'm going to click on this project and apps. And from here, I'm going to select my account. And here in my project, you can see we have received the option for keys and tokens here. So I'm going to click on this, scrolling little down. And here you can see I have successfully received the client ID and client secret. So here I'm going to copy the client ID, moving back to Pabli's window. And here I'm going to enter the client ID. Now moving back to my developer account. And here I'm going to regenerate the client secret. And then I'm going to copy it. Moving back to Pavli's window and here I'm going to enter the client secret. Now here after successfully adding these details, here I'm going to click on the save. Here it is asking for access, so here I'm going to authorize this app. 
and authorization successful so now here after building a successful connection moving forward and then here it is asking for a message basically here i need to enter the message which i want to post as a tweet on my x account so for that here i'm going to map the data again so firstly here i'm going to map the content which we generated using google generative ai so this is the content and now i'm going to add the link for the news which i have received in my google sheets so this is the link and now here after successfully adding this data moving forward and now here it is asking for co tweet id and direct message deep link so here these fields are not a required field so here i'm going to leave them blank but if you want to add these details then you can do it as per your need and now here after entering the required data here i'm going to click on the save and send test request and here you can see we have successfully received a response here that means we have successfully posted a new tweet on our x account so let's go and check it here i'm going to refresh it and here you can see we have successfully posted a new tweet related to that education news with the news link so with this we have successfully set up our automation now let's test our automation with a real time example and to test our automation we need to add a new news in our google sheets so for that let me take you back to my google sheets and here i'm going to add a new news data to test our automation and for that i'm going to enter the title as this ugc net 2024 paper leak evidence was doctored find cbi investigation and now i'm going to enter the content hashtags and link url so here i'm going to enter the content as this and after entering the content here i'm going to enter the hashtags as two and then i'm going to enter the link url for this news so here i've successfully added all these details so now let's go and check our x account here i'm going to refresh it again and here you can see we have successfully created a new tweet here with the hashtags and the same news link so with this we have successfully tested our automation now let me summarize this whole video for you so here we have taken a trigger as google sheets and an action as google generative ai and x so that whenever a new news detail is added in my google sheets automatically using that detail a tweet content should be generated using google generative ai and after that automatically the tweet should be posted on my x account now if you want to use the same workflow then you can find the clone link in the description box below i hope you like the video thanks for watching not only these applications you can integrate many other applications with pabli connect if you have any doubt you can contact us on support@pabli.com if you have any query you can contact us on forum.pabli.com and if you have any pricing related issue then you can contact us on www.pabli.com if you like the video please subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends